you guys. Okay, we are going to draw a couple of different types of flowers and you're gonna need a piece of paper. This is actually, I, wrote, I tore it out of my uh, sketchbook. Otherwise it's really hard to draw on it because it's not spiral bound. And then um, some sort of pen. I love the Tombow, uh, gosh, I'm gonna fudge up the name here, but it's like Fudusenku or something like that. Um, I will link it, but these are my favorite. You can also use a, um, a micron pen. These are awesome. But I, I, this is still my favorite, so I'm still leaning towards that. Um, a pencil, mechanical pencil works great, along with an eraser. Um, we're going to learn to draw three different types of like flowery doodles, and um, that's what we're going to learn today. Okay, so the very first one that we're going to do, basically, we're going to start with stem give it another stem over here and with flowers and things you don't want to be too rigid with your pencil flowers leaves are very imperfect so just kind of be really loose with it i'm going to give these types of flowers some leaves And there she is. We'll trace her. Just gonna trace a little bit, and then we're gonna do the stems, and of course the leaves. This is a great time to wear you don't love where your pencil marks went, you can kind of create your own lines again and then erase them after you've given it a second to dry. All right, the second one we're gonna draw, it's gonna be a little bit easier, harder, however you want. I thought that was pretty easy. So the second one we're gonna draw is gonna go like so. And we're gonna give her a couple of Little lines like that, then again, add some leaves. And what we're gonna add at the top up here is these tiny little circles to kind of indicate little flowers, or little buds of flowers, like so. I don't love the way this one is curved out kind of funny. So Go ahead and erase. This is why I like to also use pencil because sometimes you think you want it to go a, one way, but really you may change your mind. So that's kind of how we're going to do this one. So I'm going to go over it again. Oh. And I could add lines to these leaves if I wanted, so it's not um, similar to this, or you don't have to, up to you. And there we go. And now for our third leaf, or I keep saying leaves, I keep meaning to say flowers, and I just keep drawing leaves, so it's kind of what sticks in my brain. So it keeps saying that, but what I really mean to say is flower. But here's our third flower again, kind of a curvy stem. Add another stem. I know it looks similar to this one, but it won't. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a little circle. Which I'll also draw a little circle up here. And what we're gonna do is kind of make it look like a wild flower. I'm gonna draw those guys. And then same thing up here, like so. Add leaves, don't add leaves, up to you. But I think I'm gonna do tall skinny ones for this one. Like so. And then I'm gonna trace this one. And then we'll erase some pencil marks.
the little circles and then the petals of course and don't worry about them being perfect it's really hard to find flowers that are absolutely perfect there's always imperfections in the drawing and it's kind of like what you want to convey we have our three flowers but what i'm going to do now is just kind of go through and erase I don't love how that turned out even though it was supposed to be imperfect but that's okay this is practice and so get yourself a piece of paper a cup of coffee or tea grab a pencil and just sit down and just doodle thanks for joining me